Hi, it's Naps here. I hope you're good. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can easily clone any website to WordPress Gutenberg. If you have followed me for a while, you know that CloneWebEx has been my favorite tool for cloning websites. It's a fantastic AI tool that will literally help you clone the website. It supports Webflow, Elementor Bricks, Breakdance, and now they just launched Gutenberg. I just want to test it out for the very, very first time, and I want to do that uh, so that all of you would see my experience, and then you can judge whether it is a good tool for you to experiment with. Uh, so right now, let's get started. By the way, CloneWebEx is a freemium tool. You can use it literally for free, and then you can also go pro to get more. So I uh, would come back to talk about the pricing eventually later, maybe by the end of this tutorial. As usual, I want to do a disclaimer before I go into this, that I'm not encouraging you to clone any website. I am only doing this for tutorial purposes alone. Right now, let's jump into WordPress.org. I want to use this as an example, as usual. Uh, so right now, I will just launch the CloneWebEx uh extension here i will just select a project i have a wordpress project already set here and then i would add this page into that project good so we now have uh this page right now here if you come down here let's come to a page builder and let's check so you can see here now that we have option now to work with gutenberg and i think this is fantastic Okay, we have a requirement here. It says we should download your plugin. All right, so this works with plugin. That's fine. Uh, let's download this. Let's see. All right, so I have that plugin downloading there. I can just pick a random uh, part of this page to just clone for uh, uh, tutorial purpose. So once I over around this, uh, let me just work with the parent selector. So I can toggle this to see exactly what I'm copying. So you can see I'm literally copying the entire page. And I think that's nice, except for the header and the footer. Uh, so let's uh, go with this. So I have that set here. I have my plugin uh, still downloading. My internet connection is quite very crappy right now. That's fine. And then reduce dome size uh, with a height. Disable this function when there is a layout issue. Uh, I've noticed that uh, there's always uh, a layout issue using this. I would not want to experiment with that right now for this tutorial purpose. I might do that later to see if I would get significant difference. And then I can just come down. I think that's everything uh, that is to eat here. I will just eat the export button. And this has been copied to clipboard. So I have a WordPress website here. Default, nothing installed apart from Astra theme. So I can come to the plugin first. Let's uh, add that plugin. Uh, let's add new. Uh, let's upload this plugin. And then I can just drag this here. All right, install this. Uh, so let's activate this. All right, so now let's come to a page here. Let's add a new page. So let's uh, just paste what we have in our clipboard. Fantastic. So now we have a WordPress preview here, and I think this is beautiful. So you can see here, and I think this did a pretty damn good job. Uh, so this is fantastic. So right now, what we can do is to publish this page and check it out. Uh, so right now, I can come up here and then publish this page. Good, so now let's view our page. Super awesome stuff here. So we can see now that we have this repaged here. So in case it's not aligning well, we can see spaces here. This is a function of the theme here that I'm using. Uh, so I can go adjust the page settings in my theme for me to be able to have a full uh, screen. Before we end this, let's test a game with another page. Let's look at the Elemental landing page here. Uh, so let's just do this again. Let's see if we would get another amazing result. So right now I can just uh, launch the Chrome web extension again. I already have an Elementor project here as well. And then I will just add this page. Good, so we now have Elementor here inside of Clone WebEx. So now let's just uh, peruse the page. Let's see, this is fantastic. This is the page here. This image here seems to be broken, but we will still export the page. Let's see if we're gonna have that live. So you can still see some broken images here. Uh, that's fine. Uh, so right now, let's just uh, try to select uh, this. Let's go for a parent selector. Let's toggle this so we can see that as toggled uh, everything on the page, which is fine by me right now. So let me do this. And now let's switch this back to Gutenberg. Uh, we have uh, 
we have a plugin here so let's just scroll down and then let's export this project okay so we have this copy to clipboard so now let's come back to our wordpress website here let's just create a new page let's come here let's come to new page and as usual again let me paste what i have in my clipboard i'm doing ctrl v right now great so we have uh our result here and I hear there should be a background color. It's not picking that. Uh, let's come to the home page here. So you see there is this uh, background color here that it's not picking, but that's fine, I think. Uh, so it's been able to pick all the other pictures here. Uh, that's good. Uh, so you can see here all the uh, pictures here that are broken even inside of the Clone WebEx project here. Uh, so you can see this uh, is broken here but right now he's been able to bring it into this page which is fantastic so other things here are okay except of course for uh this uh one here and i think it's fine we can easily have this ourselves uh, inside of gutenberg uh this is super super easy to do i believe so so we can just customize this uh, however we want to and then we can publish this page Good, so now we can just uh, view this page in a new tab. All right, so that's it. Uh, we can then view our page. And I think this is super, super amazing, right? Uh, this is good. We are missing on some elements here. Uh, and also we have a design here too as well. Okay, now this one is not aligning properly. You can see another issue here. And that's bringing me to that conclusion that sometimes, especially when you have a very heavy page like we have here on Elementor is just best for you to clone this section by section instead of having to clone the entire page. You would get the best result trying to do that. So that's it for this tool. Since it's not a perfect tool, I would not call this tool a perfect tool, but it's a tool that will literally help you improve your workflow. Do not expect that every of the design you have, you would get a perfect clone. Uh, because designs are complex, it's difficult for you to have a tool that would always understand the complexity of every design and it would deliver for you. Uh, so if you test it on a page and it's not working well, test another page, uh, whatever it is, in my case here, I can just really redesign this. But this has saved me time trying to design everything from scratch. And that's the best way I see tools like this. Uh, so right now, if you want to invest in this tool, if it's your first time, if you come down here and you come to their pricing, you'll be able to see what their pricing is like right now. So you can see it's free for you to use. Uh, two sites, 10 exports per month. You also have access to community support. And I think that's good enough for you to experiment with this tool for you to see if this tool is able to help you. And then from there, you have a monthly package at $8. And also for their yearly plan, you have access to 400 sites. And also you would see their lifetime plan, which is for $240. And I think this is the best so far. If you have funds, just invest in their lifetime and grow with this tool and then enjoy it as it keep growing and evolving. That's it for Clone WebEx. By and large, it's a fantastic tool to just help you easily clone uh, any web pages into your comfortable page builder. And I think it's fantastic. That's my time for this tutorial. If you find it very useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any issues, let me know. Like I said in the comment section, I'll look out for them. And I would see you in another tutorial. And until then, stay safe.